action in the EDA meeting. So uh, we'll call the Monday, July 19th, 2021 meeting to order at 8-11. Uh, Nate, we call roll, please. Yes, Commissioner Hatfield. Here. Commissioner Hubbard. Here. Commissioner Wong. Here. Commissioner Graw. Here. And President Winschittle. Here. Uh, moves us to adopting the agenda. Corrections or additions, if not, I'd entertain a motion. So move. Motion by uh, Commissioner Wong, second by President Winschuttle. Discussion. Hearing that, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Moves us to approving uh, previous meeting minutes. Again, if there are no corrections or additions, I'd entertain a motion. I so couldn't move. see the previous meeting minutes. I. And I might have just, maybe if I pulled up the other one, it would have worked. Well, yeah, there's not, the link's let's not see, Let's make yeah, sure we're not. They weren't in there, I don't think. So. I don't think I looked at that one either. That's you true. can bring them to the next EDA agenda since they weren't included in the packet. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we are going to forego that because there's nothing there to, for us to approve. Is that all we have to do on that, Luke? Yes. Yes. We're good? Okay. All right, moves us to five discussion item adopt uh, resolution EDA 20 21 2, authorizing the execution of the First Amendment to the redevelopment agreement for the Shaska Creek Industrial Project and an agreement of said redevelopment agreement. Go for it, Nate. All right, President and Commissioners, uh, this is an item being brought to you at the request of Apadan, who is the developer of the two industrial buildings over in that Chaska Creek area. Um, the reason behind it is because Apadan is in the process right now of selling that project to an investor. Um, so that investor is Rock Point Holdings. Um, you'll see the agreement is set up to be with um, Chaska Industrial Owner LLC. That's just um, a holding company that Rock Point controls. Um, so when we go through a process like this, there, uh, there is, this is sort of a typical process for this sort of situation um, where they do need to assign the agreement to the new, to the new owner of the project. Um, in this case, the agreement will be assigned to Rock Point. Um, Oppidan will continue to re retain the TIF note. Um, and so th those TIF payments as they're generated will go to Oppidan, um, which is a little bit um, atypical, but it is there's nothing wrong with that. Um, and so uh, we've worked through the process to put the amendment in front of you um, and also the assignment um, of the agreement to Rock Point, and that's what we're considering tonight. So staff would recommend that we approve this to allow it to proceed. One thing I will point out is, and it says it here, Rock Point Holdings is one of the largest industrial holding companies yeah. in the country, well, which really? to me sort of indicates the interest uh, that they share not just in this site, but in industrial in this area of the metro. So it's, I think that's a very positive sign, especially as we're moving into the stuff down at 44 and 212. I didn't realize that um, they were that big of a holding company. We're a good place to invest, apparently. Huh. That's a good thing. Yeah, it is a good thing. That's a good thing. Um, and, and if I, if I remember this, this is a fairly common thing that happens in, in these big developments like this. So yep. this is nothing. It's really just changing the name and responsibilities. Who's got it on the, on the paperwork. Correct. So uh, it doesn't change anything how we operate. And we've had this happen before. Um, with a lot of times it happens. Buildings. A lot of times it happens after something's already done. Correct. Um, it's, it's not always that you know exactly who it's going to be when you're going through the process, but right. Yeah. Okay. And is that all this is doing? That's what I got kind of lost. It seemed like a lot of information, but probably necessary, but just I want to make sure that I get like lost in it. So that's pretty much the gist. That's that's the gist of it. Okay. Yeah, there were there were a few things with the agreement, the original agreement as it was approved that as we were going through it um, was determined that, you know, given the, the opportunity here, there's some, you know, clarifications and things that can be made to make the agreement stronger. Um, but yeah, by and large, it's really about that that exchange. So it's really not too big of a deal at this point. Okay. 
any others? And Jay's here to answer any yeah. questions if he wants to. He <laughs> looks like he's ready to go. Yeah. <laughs> Just, do we have any any questions for Jay? Really, that's what no. we're kind of at at this point. And like like we said, I know you were talking to Matt, but we just said that this is fairly a common thing that happens in, in this industrial ward, and it's really the paperwork and the name changes so that it's all legal. So, all right, I'm not hearing any other uh, conversation or questions, and no need for me to sit here and babble. So with that, I'd entertain a motion to approve EDA 2021-2. Well, so moved. Motion by Commissioner Wong. Second. Whoa, we have a right, fight right, there. Right. <laughs> Second by Commissioner Grah to uh, approve uh, execution of the Ben's First Amendment of the me. Redevelopment Agreement for Chaska Creek Industrial. All right, further discussion, anything? I was mentioning if you drive out to the site, you'll definitely see where their first building's gonna go. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's pretty clear now that the grading's done. They're starting to do the, the helical piers. It's, you can get a very good sense of what it's gonna look like. Is and, and maybe Jay, you can answer this one. Uh, so we kind of are in the discussion. Will there be any more dirt taken off that other side and moved, or does it stop no. there until it's needed? Uh, I believe for the there's other still site? some that go on your north north site um, up there. They focused on the south side, obviously first, because that's the first one they're building on. But there'll still be some more that goes on that north site, and then there's stuff that they have to do to balance over on the east side too. Well, that's what I mean. Is 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 all that dirt going to be moved so that that road can be done then? Yes. yes. So the so the our project, which uh, I can't remember, did, was the bid approval on this, this one? Uh, I, I'm I sorry, I'm having a brain lapse here. Yeah. So we well while he's looking for that, we received bids on on the extension of that road and utilities and they came in almost spot on on, on estimates which is great i think matt it, if you didn't have that consent i think matt has it for the august 2nd meeting and the reason for that is that we can't really start that project until all that grading is done right that's what i mean i didn't because it looks like it's just sitting there and not finished, yep. and the equipment's still there. I didn't know. It yeah, was, the, it was not on consent. Yeah, so it'll be so. in the August second meeting that we have that come forward. But again, there's they still have work to do to bring dirt across that road, and we really can't start our project until they do that. So is that is that bid part of the main sewer project, or is yep. that separate? Yeah. So it basically it, it's the project that carries it all the way down to two twelve. So it's not going all the way down Creek Road. We'll do that second half next summer, but it's bringing it down to 212 and it includes that initial sort of, you know, sewer project that will be basically the holding tank for their project yep. until it's done. Okay, so that that's all part that's of That's all same. part of this same okay. thing. And, Got and it. I think the estimate was 3.3 .3 and it came in at 3.3. .3. So it was, it was, uh, it was, about as close as you get for estimate versus bids, and we had bids come in very close to each other, which is always good to see. Yeah, when, separ when you have those separations of yeah. half a million, yeah, you know, then you're like, the heck? that That usually yeah. indicates that they don't really want the project, but they'll take it if they can get a lot. Right, <laughs> right. Okay, all right, so we have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? All right, hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Full same sign. Motion carries. You're out of here, Jay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, anything else, and nobody can bring up KFC building, okay? <laughs> That's just not going to happen. Anything else to discuss tonight? Uh, I think it's probably worth mentioning that uh, Nate's working on a letter of intent right now for the last site down at the old building center site, nice. oh. uh, which would be, uh, is it like a 30,000 square foot building? Uh, the concept we've been looking at so far has something like closer to 40,000 square feet. Um, so they're really trying to max out, you know, what can be built on the site. Uh, the idea with the project is to have it be small bay industrial yep. facility. Um, well, there's a the, big demand for that. Is, yes, now. there's yeah. a lot of yeah. small contractors yep. that need So storage. it's somewhere in the neighborhood of like 2,000 square feet per, you know, plus or minus um, for each of the units. And yeah, geared towards small contractors, you know, the person who's running a machine out of his 
drop or whatever. Um, you know, online retailers that need some space to, uh, you know, keep their inventory. I, c I consider these really good incubators for future yes. big businesses in Chaska. Yep. Right. That's From true. there, then they go out to where Avedon is. Hopefully. Or they, 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 they go to North Industrial Park, and then they eventually end up out there. I mean, it yep. sort of ends up, uh, end up being this progression. Yep. Can, can you say who the developer is or too early? Um, I don't you don't know have to see don't, their don't, don't, right don't worry about it. You'll, you'll learn it when we bring the letter. Yep. Event, so. <laughs> that's the, uh, <laughs> and that's right now we're aiming for the August 2nd meeting. Um, so hopefully we're able to hit Boy, your agenda is just climbing. I yeah. know. Well, we they really just want to give me a lot of done. camera time yeah. is all. They're like, okay. Well, you get the same camera time as everybody. It's a pan. <laughs> they do it on your face a lot. One, one other piece to note, too, things coming up. Um, I'm also working with the CDA. Um, and hopefully in short order we'll have some purchase and development agreements for the Ernst House mm -hmm. coming yeah, that'd in front be good. of you all. Mm -hmm. so. so we've been working through sort of, uh, you know, sort of the finalization of, you know, what that purchase agreement will look like. And I think it's coming together nice. I mean, they're, they're to the point now where they're going to, with this, have enough confidence to bring on an architect to finish it, uh, the plans for it. They're bringing on McDonald and Mac who is the ones that actually wrote our historic uh, district uh, downtown and, and actually created the Department of Interior's criteria for for historic places. So there, which I think the great part about that is I think they're gonna create something that really complements that Ernst House. So the question, oh, sorry. Well, I was just gonna say it's good that we, that's like six years ago we moved that. Yeah, I know. It'll be good to finally move forward. What have we had, we've had Couple, two, three different agreements on it to move forward, and nothing's. Yeah, this this so. this one, this one I feel is different because we've got a grant uh, to work with. And Are we gonna get our money back? That's part of the whole plan. Well, I know that's always part of the plan, <laughs> but it's happening is another thing. You'll see. So the site that for the Chesco, going back to the Chesco Building Center site, so this is like the third and last one. Was this the same one that was originally a concept plan for the, like the business cottages or whatever? The, but this it was like three or four smaller buildings. Yeah, yeah. That was the one. It's sort of the same concept except it's in one building. Okay. Yep. Okay, so that was that site. Because that that was that too was looking at trying to create that smaller industrial space. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that was more like smaller, like you know, like office type businesses right. rather than those were office. Like, kind this of is more like a light industrial. Yeah, correct. Right. Okay. Which honestly, I think we have a lot more demand for the light, light industrial yeah. than we do for the office space. Yep, I get calls fairly frequently wanting that two to three thousand square feet, um, and. It's not that these spaces don't exist, but they're, you know, they're all taken. They're not available. Well, and they, they go immediately. Right? Because, yeah, because they're either, like, really, really big spaces or they're way too small. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Or retail spaces or something. Yeah. Cool. Thanks. Mm -hmm. All right, anything else on the EDA? All right, I'd entertain a motion to go home. I mean, adjourn. <laughs> so moved. Second. Motion by Commissioner Hatfield, second by Commissioner Wan to adjourn. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Post same sign. See you August 2nd, 3rd? 2nd. 2nd.